Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm gonna wait a few seconds. Make sure you have your broomstick, your PVC, all of that stuff. Okay, cool. Sorry, I don't know that. Okay, all right guys, happy Sunday morning. So we are gonna do a stick mobility routine today. At home, I don't have a PVC, I just use a broomstick. So if you have something, just make sure it's like this long if you can. If not, it's still gonna to work too. Just when you try this next time, it's your same routine, maybe try to get a little bit longer of a stick. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I want you to do first is go behind your back. Your hands are gonna be palms facing away from you. And I want you to go a little bit outside of your shoulders, okay? So you're like this position. So what you're gonna do first is try to stay close to your body, try to keep your wrists neutral, so no flexing, no extending, and you're gonna kinda of go up your back as far as you can. Once you reach that stopping point, transition down, and then extend. Again, rep two. And play with your hand position. If it's not challenging, come closer. And if it's too challenging, go further. Three, keep going. So lift up and out. Four, out. Five, out from the front. Six, you can't really see anything, but you can see my hand position. Out from the back, up. Seven, three more. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. Up. Ten. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an external rotation stretch for your shoulder. So you're gonna grab your stick, you're gonna have your this arm straight, the underarm. You're going to kind of wrap around. So this is going behind my shoulder, and then my hand kind of comes across to the front. Keep your palm open. So start here, extend that elbow, stay around a 90 degree angle, and then you're gonna start pulling yourself up so you're rotating your hand backwards. So let's hold it. You might have to like play with the positioning. Right there, that's where I feel it the most. So if my elbow's a little bit bent, if this also works for you, just try to get into as much external rotation as you can, like that. Also, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Hope you guys have a great day. A little bit longer, make sure you're like this. You're really rotating back, pulling that stick up. Okay, slowly come out of it. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. So here, wrap around, hand behind from the side. You're going to figure out the best position. Your elbow might be straight, your elbow might be bent. You're gonna crank that stick, pull it up with the bottom hand, and then your upper hand should be rotating backwards. Just hold it. Keep cranking, get as deep of a stretch as you can. We're almost there. Okay, one more time on the left side. Same thing, behind you, like right behind the elbow, hand wraps around, figure out if you need to bend your elbow, straighten your elbow, crank it. Keep that hand open, or if you can't get in this position, you might have to hold on to your stick. So find what works for you. Everyone's body is different and everyone's mobility is different. From the side to from the back, see how the firm stick is. Okay, let's switch. Last one. Wrap around. Get that hand in a good position, crank that stick. Yeah, right there. Okay, 
from the front. We're almost done, and then we're gonna get into some more dynamic things, full body. The next actual exercise is pretty challenging. Okay, a few more seconds. And come out of it slowly. Okay, shake it out. So you're gonna do standing hip airplanes today. If you are a beginner, I want you to use your stick to help you stand and balance. If you are advanced or just wanna try it out for fun, put your stick behind your back, have your hands open wide, and I'll show you what to do. So you're going to, let's start on our left leg. Keep a slight bend in your knee. You're gonna kind of hinge over until you're horizontal with the ground. You're gonna rotate down. Get that stick staying in contact with your back. Rotate up. Rotate, rotate, rotate as far as you can. Back to the center. Rotate down. It's okay if you lose your balance. Keep trying. Rotate up. Push, 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 push. You're working hip external rotation right here. And then if you need that balance, you're here. You rotate down. Make sure that back leg starts to cave in. Rotates down towards the other leg. And then you rotate out. Try not to rely on the stick, even if you need it. Step from the side. You're back over. You would rotate down. And then rotate up. And you're pushing through the ground and you're trying to get your hips to rotate. Back to this version. Here. I think we're on like four. Arm straight. Down. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Up. I'm keeping my eyes looking down right now because it helps me balance to focus on one point. If you are an amazing balancer, you can start shifting your gaze, which makes it that much harder. Down. Come on, I think this is like number six. Breathe. Down. Number seven. Woo, balance. Go from the front. Three more. Rotate down, hip internal rotation of that standing leg. Rotate up. Hip external rotation. Two more. Nine, your booty should be burning. Up. Keep that big toe down, guys. Last one. Ten. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Come on, push, 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 push. Ugh. Okay. Woo! Shake it out. Let's switch legs. Okay, so right leg, if you need your stick, it's out in front of you. You're going to bend this knee, come down, rotate down. Turn that back toe towards that front leg, and then you're going to rotate. Woo! Rotate. Number two. Rotate, rotate, rotate. If you have good balance, arms straight. Can you guys tell I'm a lefty? This side's way harder for me. Three. Down. Four. Down. Keep breathing. Five. From the side, make sure to keep that big toe down. Six. Be patient. Down. Seven. Down. Eight. Everything is burning. Down. Nine. One more. Make it good. Down. Up, 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 up. Ten. Woo! Okay, that one is so fun. So I recommend people do that a lot. Okay, let's do our next thing. So we're going to do quadruped, shoulder flexion, pails and rails. So, have your stick, quadruped position. You're going to be like this. What I want you to do is find the best position right now for your shoulder height, so, or for your shoulder flexion. So this is where my shoulder flexion is. I probably can't go more than that at the moment. So this is where I'm going to start. Now, what I want you to do is for a count of 10, you're going to be pulling downward into the PVC. So it's right here. Ready, set, pull down. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as hard as you can, nine, ten, okay, let go, just have your fingertips, hold it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, walk your hand up, hopefully you guys can see this, walk your hand up, now I'm in a higher position on my stick, same thing, pull down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, walk it up, a little bit higher, pull down, last time, one, two, as hard as you can, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let go, it's going to be hard, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, walk it up, and then just relax. So now you should be like, I don't know, maybe I moved up a foot from where I started from, so we're working more into that in-range shoulder flexion. Just relax. Okay, switch arms. I'm going to show you from the front. Stick out in front of me on my hands. I'm finding where that spot is right now that I know I go to naturally. And I start digging down for one, two, three, four. I'm pulling down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just letting go, just using my fingertips to balance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I'm walking up, and digging down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, walk it up, and last one, press down. One, two, three, you should feel a good stretch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. Oh, I'm starting to twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk it up and relax. Same thing, I think I've got like a foot higher on this one, so it's really good to start working at this in range. You're mobilizing and strengthening at the same time. Okay, Woo. slowly come out of it, shake it out. I'm gonna grab some water, and then make sure that you guys are still along, or following along. Cool. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do kind of like a lunge, forward and kneeling lunge with thoracic rotation. So grab as wide as you can, you're going to lunge, and then you're going to rotate towards your leg. And come back. One. Two. Push further. Come on. Breathe. Three. Forward. Four. Push, 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 push. Five. Five more. Go, 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 go. Six. Push. Seven. Three more. Eight. Breathe. Nine. Last one. Okay, switch legs. Right legs forward if you're doing the same side as me. So you're going to lunge forward, rotate towards the front leg. One, breathe. Two. Three. This side's definitely worse. Four. 
I'm getting like cramps in my side too. Because I'm really forcing it. Was that five? Let's call it five. Six. Four more. Seven. That was my knee. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. So the next one's a little confusing. So I'm going to explain it first before we do it. So we're going to do like a kneeling prayer stretch. It's going to be for your lats and also working into external rotation. So when you're doing this, your elbow is always going to be inside of your hands. And you want to kind of pull your hands out as far as you can by keeping the elbows in. Okay, so you might start like this and then it might end up being like this as long as you can maintain the elbow position, okay? And so when you're doing this, you're gonna think about digging into the ground with your elbows the same time that you're pulling in with your hands. So you're trying to be going this way together and then this way, okay? So you'll see what I mean here. So you're gonna be in this kneeling position. All right, elbows in, you're gonna wiggle your hands out right here, okay? So this is my starting position. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling my hands together starting to generate tension, okay? And I'm gonna start moving my elbows out a little bit. So pulling in, digging into the ground, into my yoga mat, and I'm leaning back. Hold. Bend those elbows, get that bar or that stick to your head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up, elbows stay there, hands go further. So wiggle them out. All right, pull in, dig down. You're pulling and digging and then leaning back and bending your elbows. Two, three, four, five. You guys should be shaking. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Again, maybe kind of reposition your elbows. Get your hands further if you can. Dig in. So you're pulling your hands together. You're digging your elbows into your back. Leaning back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whew, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna do three more from the front. So just six of these. So I'm starting elbows together. Find that first position. Digging in, digging down, leaning back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hands go further. Round two. Ready? Dig in with the hands, down with the elbows. Lean back. Get your head through. Come on, you should be shaking. It should be hard. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one more. Reposition my elbows. See if I can get a little bit more shoulder external rotation. All right, and now I'll dig in again. So pull in, dig down. One, two, three, four. Give it all you got. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one's fun too, right? Okay, so now what we're going to move on to is a kneeling lateral chain stretch. So you're going to be like this. You're going to have your stick. So what you're going to do is you're going to kind of Go to the side as far as you can, straighten those arms, lean, stretch. You should be opening up this lateral chain. So elbows straight, push yourself away, push your hip the opposite direction that your hands are going, hold it a couple seconds, and then come out of it. And then again. So plant, push, find the best position. You should start feeling either lat or QL or just somewhere on the side. And make sure you're staying in a straight line when you're doing this. So here, straight line, reach, reach, reach. Push your hip the other way. And make sure you're not like this, right? So make sure that you're getting through that arm. That was three. Four. Push, 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 push. Open those hips. Five, five more. Walk your hand down if you need to. Six. Seven. Eight. 
seven, eight, the front, oh, it's so tight, nine, last one, breathe, it's kind of hard to breathe during this, right, Whew, ten, okay, other side, so, stretch, dig, push, make sure you get your head through, your arms, Whew. one, two, straight line, three, four, Move your hands a little closer if you can. Push, push, push. Get through that arm. Six. Four more. Seven. Keep breathing. Whew, we're almost there. Eight. It's actually loosening up. Nine. Last one. Push, push, push. 10. Okay, now we're going to get into the 90 90 position. My favorite. Okay, so you're right here. What you're going to do is you're going to put the stick under your foot and your knee. Okay, so this knee is bent to 90 degrees. Back, knee, back leg is also bent to 90 degrees. So you're here. So you're starting here, and what I want you to do is grab the front part of the stick, and then you're going to come up. One. Find a good position. Maybe go towards the end. Two. So you're keeping this front leg down and you're just peeling up that back leg. Three. Try to get a little further each time. Four. Probably help it if my broomstick didn't have like a, a round end. Five. Six. Get further. Seven, you should be forcing it. This should be hard work. You should be thinking about actively lifting your leg up too. Seven, Whew. eight, nine, last one, ten. Okay, switch other side. I'm going to show you from this angle. Find the right position. Okay, so it's under my foot and my knee. I'm in this 90-90. Front leg has been to 90 degrees. Back leg is also been to 90 degrees. I am using my hand for support. That's up to you if you're able to. Then do it. If you don't, if you can't do this, then you could also be like on your elbow if you can still kind of reach the broomstick. So here, I'm going to crank it as far as I can, keeping that front leg down. One. Two, I'm thinking about actively lifting my leg up so my arm isn't having to do all the work. Three. Four. Five. I'm like shaking, I'm actually really trying hard. Six. Seven, keep that leg up. Eight, nine, last one, oh, ten. Okay, just one last thing, guys. We're going to do a pancake stretch with an assistance of your stick. So, you're going to straddle. I don't know if you guys can see me this direction. Hopefully you can. If not, I'm basically just putting it under my feet. I'm going as wide as I can on my stick, and then I'll be pulling myself down, and also thinking about actively pulling myself down. So it's just not my arm. I'm also pulling by thinking about shortening this distance between my hips and my trunk. So I'll do a couple this way, and then I'll show you from the side. Okay, right here. Back flat. Think about pulling that pelvis forward, keeping that back nice and long. Here. One, two, three. Come up. One, two, three. Come up. 
Remember, you're not just using your arms. You're also thinking about pulling yourself closer with these muscles, your hip flexors. Four, one, two, three, five, from the side. I wish I had a little bit longer broomstick for this. Six, back is flat. Seven, three more. Pull, stay flat. As long as you can, if you can keep going further, keep going. And I definitely recommend when you're doing your own practice and your own mobility work, you don't have to do 10 reps. Feel it out, whatever your body needs. If you feel like something is stiff and you wanna work a little bit extra on that, you gotta do it. One more. be doing this class. I don't think next Sunday. Um, my family is coming in town. We're doing wedding dress shopping, so I'm very excited. So um, maybe I can convince my mom to do like a, an appearance on this, but if not, I'm going to skip a week. Okay? Have a great day.